How's it flying, guys? This is Lance Corporal Hawk 30, and welcome back to another John Tron reaction. The boy just put this out a few days ago. Steven Seagal, certified tough guy. Excuse me. I know that Steven Seagal was in Under Siege, and I'm going to be honest, I can't remember a whole lot of other things that he's been in. But I know that he is one of those guys. He, he definitely... A lot of people have probably at least heard the name or seen the face at some point. So, yeah, and I would have to agree with the title, Certified Tough Guy. He's played a lot of badass characters in his movies. And he even did a, a I think it was a live-action drama series where he was working with law enforcement or something. I don't remember exactly what it was, but I'm pretty sure he was in something like that. I can't think of it off the top of my head, but I know what happened. <laughs> But anyways, though, uh, th that might be one of the things that John talks about. So, or maybe it's something ridiculously odd that Steven Seagal was in that's making John make this video. So, anyways, I want to go ahead and get into this and not waste any time because I know it's John. It's usually nine, <laughs> 99 out of 100. It's going to be good. <laughs> uh, link to the original video will be in the description. Please make sure that you have watched it before you watch my reaction to it. Um, check out my Discord in the description right under the link to the original video. Come join the community, help it grow. And also, if you can afford to, maybe go check out my Patreon. Uh, no perks at this time. No, It's not required for anything at this time. But, you know, maybe in the future, once I actually start getting patrons, I might just start doing shoutouts for the people who uh, support me there. But not required for anything right now, but just open and optional. So, okay, so anyways, that all the, out of the way. Let's go ahead and get gone. Before we start today's video, okay, I want to give a big shout out to today's sponsor. And you know who that sponsor is? Okay, you're not going to believe this. That's Raid Shadow Legends. Nah. Raid Shadow Legends is a free-to-play dark fantasy RPG game. I should have seen it coming. Phone, tablet, and computer. Should have seen it coming. You can switch from playing on but then phone again, to he's with ease. He's plugged and them brand before. New to Raid so is the tag team arena. Tag arena is the next level of competitive PvP battles where you face off in a best of three. Yeah, we, I think we've all, battles, everyone and their mothers heard about Raid matches, Shadow Legends at this point. And as you progress through the campaign, but you'll collect. I see he's in a different setup than he has been the past few videos. So has he gone back to? New York player, you can earn special rewards if you finish high in the rankings. or so, has he just what are you waiting for okay go to my description gone. click the link and download raid shadow is this, legends is this just somewhere today. different oh if you're a new player Ow. you'll get 50,000 silver 50 gems five mystery shards one energy refill one day xp boost one clan boss key and free champion executioner this champion is super strong and like I said you'll get him completely free by signing up with my link below you'll find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 days only this guy, okay? Yes. Steven Seagal. Uh, I don't know how he's been the places he's been and accomplished what he's accomplished. I always just knew him as a 90s action movie star with the likes of Jean-Claude Van Damme and Arnold yeah. Schwarzenegger, you know, beating people up. That's fair. Being awesome. Or Bruce. Oh. Bruce. Putting asses <laughs> in seats at the movie theater. Generally not being batshit crazy afterwards. You still fine? Yes, I do. You still dangerous? But Steven Seagal could not manage that last bit, unfortunately. Uh, so uh, here you have it. The many sides of this fragmented man. Okay. May we try to piece him back together like Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> oh, boy. He's kind of an egg guy, if I'm being honest. So Steven Seagal okay. was trained in an art called Aikido, uh, or so he says. It's basically an art where you just... You just flip a guy. You just you just throw a guy. That's Aikido? That's what it is. Dude, I'd be careful if I were you. That's a dangerous man. Uh, but I'd be remiss if I didn't point out the central aspect of Aikido, in which uh, that it is a, a fakey fake, not real bullshit... Uh, martial art. Ironically, if you look at it, most of the real skill here comes from the people pretending they're falling. I, I've heard of Aikido. I've heard it described as so, a generally uh, more that's probably a good peaceful, non-violent uh, approach to things. So you thought... So, fun fact. In Doctor Who, the only doctor to ever actually use a form of martial art 
was the third Doctor, the one that's probably closest to being a James Bond type Doctor because of all the different gadgets and uh, vehicles he used. And also, he actually did fight, although he used something he called Venusian Aikido. But it was a form of Aikido, so technically followed under the peaceful, non-violent, wherein people wouldn't get permanently harmed. But, yeah. It's continuing on. Steven Seagal was an action star, huh? Get him, man! Well, what about Steven Seagal, the uh, musician? Well, now you gonna have to see. I got $700, baby. Ain't you gonna that's me from me. Make this bill, tell you. It's quite easy to do soul singing, you know what I'm saying? Before I was born. <laughs> you got a boy, Charles Conway. What the fuck? It's like started soulful, but ended with a thread. It was like, you better watch your back. Literally, actually, seriously, watch your back. Yeah! Oh, wait a minute. You know, he's here. Okay, that one was straight up gibberish. I believe I heard <laughs> bum, 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 bum. That's, that's oh boy. genuinely what I heard. Oh boy. <laughs> the rush. I know he spends I, a lot I'm of time. My family are from Vladivostok and Belarus and you know I'm a Russian Mongol and I'm Russian. My father was a Russian Mongol, so these people are Russian Mongols. That's right, it's real. That's Vladimir Putin shaking hands with Steven Seagal. How does it even happen? Was Vladimir Putin just like a, like a fan of Under Siege or something? I don't know. <laughs> I like to think Vladimir Putin just has no idea who Steven Seagal is. He's just like, okay, yeah. Who is this again? Foreign minister to Switzerland? Okay. First, I'd like to congratulate you on this occasion. Mr. Putin wants you to know that uh, he thought you were the foreign minister to Switzerland, <laughs> uh, and he was mistaken, but he's going to go ahead with it anyway. Congratulations, <laughs> Mr. Seagal. Uh, yeah. Right, Jesus, I, I act yeah. like you're at least a little happy to see him, Vlad. I mean, I know, I know you're not in reality. Nobody would be. But at least act happy. I mean, for Christ's sake. So, uh, at the bottom, we have to silence. Whoa, what's with the fucking gnarly thumbnail? You're gonna go and meet the, the president of, of Russia and you, you, you come with the fucking Crypt Keeper fingers? Especially when it's gonna be like up close on television? What the fuck? You know, I don't like, know. At, like his gnarly thumbnail, like, please, I'm gonna have to shake that hand. Yeah, you can watch yeah, under there. There it goes! Ah! Get, get one of those attachments on a nail clipper, just. <laughs> I'm weak. So happy to see him again. That's all. It's really been a pleasure. By the way, just saying, huge fan. Of your annexation of Crimea. You are. You I ain't touching that. that man. Round, I thought was so strong, strong, slim man. No, you are like a Russian potato. <laughs> but believe it or not, old Vlad is actually not the only Eastern Bloc president that Steven Seagal has graced with his presence, as seen here when he visited the president of Belarus, Alexander Lukashenko, at his official residence in Minsk. Because this you can't make it up, really. You can't make it up. Huh? Well, kind of, uh, what is Okay, you go to the White House, all right, you go to Downing Street, they're gonna give you a cup of coffee and a cake. Not so in Belarus, all right? You go to I've the never Minsk even heard Palace, of Belarus. All right, they're gonna shred you a couple carrots Which is probably live. bad, but. Look at this man, how does he look so out of place everywhere he is? Okay, look it at that kinda posture, does. right? That posture asserts, I don't know where I am, I want my mommy, I'm lost. <laughs> Jeez. Steven, go easy with the fuck. Did, did you just skip lunch? How hungry were you? <laughs> He's like, Hold on. He looks absolutely lost. He's what? Like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay, uh, watermelon. Oh, it's time for the watermelon. Okay. <laughs> what? Dimitri, good boy. Uh, bring Steven the watermelon. Nice. Check that thing out, all right? We don't got much of a GDP, but check that out. Get That's a couple some of soil sticks. we got in my backyard. Say nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. so, yeet! Oh, I keep, I keep it. I, I. Oh, all right. Cool. We got. 
I mean, watermelon's Burger always good. That's your thing. <laughs> watermelon's carrots. <laughs> it's a bit fucking weird, but... The, okay, here it is. But he's not only Russian, okay? He apparently had a brief stint as a cop uh, or something on the New Mexico border. Uh, I don't know what made him qualified for such a position. Yeah. But somebody apparently thought it a good idea to hire him, uh, which is why we are now going to be treated to a video titled, <clears throat> and I quote, Steven Seagal trains Americans how to stop school shooters using guns and martial arts. Good luck stopping a school shooter using martial arts, I'm just saying. Stop, boy! Oh! Oh! That was a high caliber round! America's war on gun crime is being fought on many fronts. But now the world's most powerful country has a new weapon. Yes, all action hero, Steven Seagal. That, okay, that's a little bit much. It's a little bit much of an intro. The star took time out from the bright lights of Hollywood to train what? posse volunteers in Arizona. Posse volunteers? What, what do you mean volunteers? I thought these were cops. Wait, better question. What the fuck is a posse volunteer? The Maricopa County Sheriff's Office volunteer posse consists uh, of non-compensated non -compensated? of people from all walks of life who want to assist law enforcement as a way to give back to their community. So that explains now, how he was able to do really that. Proper domain for the volunteer contingent of society. Should Good point. Absolutely highly trained veteran forces be taking on these kinds of tasks. Yeah. And shouldn't Steven Seagal always have literally nothing to do with it? Yeah, you're not doctors and lawyers, you're cops right now. You take that Hippocratic Oath, you scrunch it up, put it in the trash. You're here to shoot the child, but only the child with the weapon. When you yell at somebody, get down on the ground, they gotta do it. If they don't do it, you gotta make them comply. Quick. For every second that goes by, you could be losing children. I, li I like how Steven Seagal, you could see him just for a moment yeah. calculating the optics of talking about mounds of dead kids. <laughs> for every second that passes, we're gonna be... Yeah. Losing children? That, that's good, right? It's good for the TV. The most precious asset we have as a society and as human beings is our children. Which is why I've come here to this playground to oh recapture no. my youth. Oh no. <laughs> but he's a dangerous youth, don't get me wrong. Uh, you boy of 12 with a shotgun, unhand your weapon. Don't make me do this. <laughs> Jeez, John. Son of a bitch. If they think they can keep extorting the children of this community with 10 cent price hikes on SpongeBob Pops, but they're dead wrong. I never, ever. It turns out, pretty cool guys actually. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I should call it a fun fact, more a sad fact. I never actually got anything from an ice cream truck until I was already out of high school. Never had an ice cream truck for any of the neighborhoods that I lived in. None of the schools I went to had an ice cream truck go by. Nothing. I always had to go to the store to get ice cream. Uh, so no ice cream trucks for my life until literally I was already a full-fledged freaking adult. So I don't know if that's sad, depressing, or if it's just like, dude, who cares? Just get back to the video. Probably that last one. It's probably that last one. But not everyone agrees. It's the brainchild of controversial Arizona police chief Joe Arpaio, dubbed America's toughest sheriff. I'm going to say it again. For those protesters, we are here to protect the children. That's the main mission. They can say whatever they want, but I'm not going to stop. And with a six foot four, seventh down black belt as his sidekick, who would disagree with that? Um. How long has, has Steven Seagal been standing behind me? Why is Steven Seagal standing behind me? <laughs> Interesting timing on the camera angle. If that weren't enough, uh, he had his own series called Steven Seagal. This Lawman. is the one that I was thinking of. I've been working as an officer in Jefferson Parish for two decades under most people's radar. When? Seagal really? Wait, premiere really? episode, The Way of the Gun. Okay. Once a year, every officer has to qualify with firearms in order to use their pistol on duty. And next week yeah. is Alex's test. See how it goes right where I want it? Yes, sir. Right there. Now, most people don't know this, but when the bullets know. are in the gun, okay? Watch I know. closely. Did you see that? Most people don't know that. If I don't pass weapons qualification. I'm afraid Mr. Skull's gonna hurt me. Really. Uh, he's a scary man. He's an intimidating. 
I don't know if that was an edit or if that was an actual shot that John managed to pull off. If it was an actual shot that John managed to pull off, good job, man. Good aim. Man, he's also, if I, I could use a turn of phrase, off his fucking rocker. I'm trying to pass down some of the secrets that have made me a master shooter. I don't want to just help Alex pass this test, but I want him to be a better marksman for life. Well, that's kind of the idea, isn't it? Yeah. Both in the same hole, buddy. Good luck, chap. <laughs> Jeez. Not through the bullet hole. It's a failed test. Nice try. Oh! Guess who's buying beer tonight, boy? Damn. Damn. I guess it's me. I guess I'm buying beer. Damn. That's Steven Seagal's whole racket, isn't it? He just, he just tells someone to do something impossible. They can't do it. And then he goes, hey, oh, look who's paying my mortgage this month. That's <laughs> a 30 feet. Cheese for all right there. Cheese for all right there. Ugh, John, no. Right no, he John. And he knows how to put lead on target. Lead on target. Oh, fuck's sake, dude. You know, being a don't make fun of the exhibition in martial arts, I try to teach everyone not to fight the recoil of the weapon, but more to become one with the weapon. Okay, and that's impressive. An extension but how far away was it? Body. That's the question. Which is exactly why, uh, in case you were wondering, my hands look like this. Okay, when they said firearm, I didn't know they meant it literally. <laughs> yeah, no, but I do miss that's a bad pun. normally. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. After what I seen today, <laughs> okay, that was a good move. Hat off a fly's ass. You got the Asian kind of Zen lesson. You're not doing this anymore. You're doing this. Okay, we were seeing a lot of this kind of movement, right? Now we're seeing a bit more. From the time you started till the time we finished, I felt like he learned something. Good. See, I believe that was the point. I think. Yeah, so, that's. Good. All right, okay, so we've Always heard about the point. Steven Seagal the, all of those things. Okay. What about Steven Seagal the man? You know, the person, the human being behind it all. We always ask, what is Steven today? But we never ask, it's a good question. how is Steven today? Now that's the good question right there. Right? Epic musical, so let's right? watch an interview uh, with the man himself. Uh, it's an interview he did with The Voice. Uh, should get a little accurate representation of who he is, right? Welcome to Scottsdale, Arizona. Welcome to The Voice Versus. Hello, everybody. I'm Michael Chanel. Oh, I'm glad you said oh, your own okay. name, mate, because I wasn't going to be able to pronounce it. So sit back and no, strap right. yourselves in for the longest interview ever conducted with Steven Seagal. Before he got distracted and left, okay? We had him in that chair for like 26 minutes straight. Steven Seagal, thanks for joining me on The Voice no, Versus. Right. It's an absolute pleasure. Pleasure to meet know. you. Is this going to be yeah. entertaining or awkward? Mm -hmm. That's How the question. How to be Aikido that was your chosen art? Well, actually, I started studying karate at a very young age. I, um... Don't hurt yourself, dude, all right? We don't want smoke come out of those ears. This is your longest interview ever. We're only about 15 seconds in. Sort of lied about my age and got a job washing dishes at a, uh, restaurant i think it was called the wagon wheel or something like that and um there was a uh, a cook there because back then in america you didn't really have dojos around i was working at this restaurant uh don't remember the name of it there was a cook there but back then you didn't really have dojos right understood steven understood they were all sort of underground or quietly teaching okay back then it wasn't sanctioned okay it wasn't exactly legal a bit taboo you go on the street you say the words kung fu all of a sudden you're in the back of a SWAT van one of the cooks there was a guy called Sakamoto sensei and he was a Shotokan guy and an Okinawan Shorin uh, guy in short this guy was a guy <laughs> And, okay, I, I get that the whole point of what John's doing is trying to make it sound more ridiculous than it is, but be honest with yourself. Like, how old was Steven Seagal when that happened? I would be... I'm 25 years old now. I would probably be going, uh, going through an interview much the same way that Steven Seagal is, with a lot of pauses trying to recollect what, exact, what the hell exactly happened... At this point in my life, I don't know. I have a shit at memory. Uh, what happened at this point in my life? 
Hey, we you see a move from Juju when I was six. I didn't have a say in it. My parents are divorced. I don't remember the move when we were driving through Canada. <laughs> the details like that. Like I'd probably be going through an interview stumbling through an interview the same way with a lot of pauses to try to remember like let's see, what was I doing at this point in my life? I don't remember was it at this point at this point. I'm sure a lot of people at that will be. Plus consider how old Steven Seagal was at this time. What probably in his four probably either in his late thirties, early forties. Something like that, probably. I don't know. He saw that when I was washing the dishes and moving around that, that I moved very fast. Hey, that guy back there. Is he is he a karate master? No, he's just a dishwasher. No. How exactly do you wash a dish in a fashion that will impress a martial arts master? <laughs> Well, you could just play a clip from Karate Kid. We Remember, you just had him cut painting the fence, waxing the car. Out there at this place that they had, which was a theme park, like a Japanese theme park. You know, it was like a regular theme park, you know, like with roller coasters, except it was Japanese. You did an Aikido demonstration and Warner Brothers was blown away and boom, Steven Seagal became a movie star. Is that true? And if not, I, how did it I happen? hate to admit it, that is true. Okay. You met Bruce Lee. Truth Tell me about your true. experiences with Bruce and what was he like and how did you get on with him? I, I thought Bruce was a really great guy, a really cool guy. And I thought James Coburn was a great guy too. And I'm really sorry they're all gone. And <laughs> when Brandon was killed like that, um, they called me a few minutes after it happened. It was in Carolina somewhere. They called me in the middle of the night. They said, you think it'd be more like, yeah, but Steven, Steven, but it was, it was a... We think that he's dead, and, but the guy shot a blank gun at him. Uh, how could he be dead? Steven, we need to talk to you, dude, okay? We shot, like, a gun, a blank gun at, at Brandon Lee, and now he's, like, bleeding from the stomach and dying, dude. Why is he dying? What do we do? John's probably gonna say it, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it. Wouldn't you call an ambulance first to say... How the hell did that happen? Yeah, blanks don't mean that it's still not deadly. It's still a gun. Regardless of the type of round you got in it, that's still... There's always a risk, you know? Blanks are more used for... Target prac... Or for... Practicing on dummies more like... But I wouldn't... But don't practice them on people. I know that they say... A blank won't kill you. It, it's how it's kind of how they show it in movies. Like if someone's got a blank, that they're not gonna die. Like, no, we didn't call an ambulance. We're calling you, dude. I said you will find a projectile in him. You'll find a bullet in him. And they said that can't be. You're crazy. Uh, Steven, what are you gonna tell me? Pigs are flying next. Okay, all we did was shoot a gun at him. We're gonna find him. Bullet. Why did they even call you instead of the paramedics? And I said, you will find a bullet in him. And they called me in the morning. They said, you're amazing. And I said, why? And they said, Brandon's dead. It was a bullet. <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking how, like, I don't know how to make that funny. I can go through the whole story on what really happened, which most people don't know. But I could go on all day talk, telling them about bullets and my friend. You don't want to hear that. But do you? Because I I'll, mean, I'll keep going. Right into an Constantly ad. Constantly slicing the ball can really take the fun out of the game. You start to doubt yourself. Why won't you die? You step up to the ball. Keep That's going. what I got from Who's slicing the, the ball. I don't know. Hollywood tough guy, in your opinion. When you say tough guy, do you mean martial artist or just tough I mean, guy? I mean, you can tell just like right out the gate. He's like, uh, it's Steven Seagal, but like I thought you knew that. So like, are you asking for me to confirm it, Steven Seagal, or are you really curious? Because it's pretty obvious. I mean, Steven, for real, if he was on the street and there was a situation, you wanted this Hollywood guy by your side because he could defend himself. Fucking hell, look at this guy's <laughs> shit-eating grin. Michael Jai White. Can I laugh in your face? Can I laugh in your face? Really? <laughs> really? Really? Yes. Thoughts on Jean-Claude Van Damme? 
Can I laugh in your face? Oh my god, Steven Seagal's such a dickhead. Chuck Norris? I mean, Chuck is in his mid-70s. He's probably 76 years old. I don't think anyone with a sprayed-on hairline has the authority to be going around calling anyone else geriatric. Oh, that Chuck Norris, all right? Last I seen him, he was using a walker. So, I mean, I don't really want to get... You dissing on Chuck Norris? I know that we have the whole... The man, the myth. We pump up the myth and the jokes and all that. But you know what? The how many actual martial arts tournaments the man has gone through? He has. He had lost some. That is true. But he also won more than he lost. He and the man invented his own type of martial art that people actually follow. I don't remember what it's called. But yeah. I would love to have Chuck Norris by my side. I don't think anyone would screw with me. <laughs> They'd be like, oh, that's the guy so tough Bruce Lee had to kill him. Get into, on film anyway, mm -hmm. uh, you know, who's a tough guy? Uh, do I think Michael is a tough guy? No. Do I think he's a martial artist? No. Do I think Jean Claude's a tough guy or a martial artist? No. Only one guy left who could be the tough guy. This guy's response on the other end, it was just... Are you always armed? Yes. Right now, if I was to look around this room, would I find an arm of some sort that you've brought with you? Yes. Thank you for joining us on the show today, and it's been an absolute pleasure. Guy. Hmm, is that the end of it? Oh, yeah, pretty much. I'm gonna admit a lot of us probably want to do that one day, just like, uh, I don't feel like being an adult right now. I gotta go sit in a swing and eat a, eat a popsicle. He saved the popsicle, thank goodness. Ice cream bear. SpongeBob's buck teeth on that. On that ice cream bar. It just, it, I thought, like, that looks like a trident. This probably, I don't know how good a reaction this turned out to be. Like, it was. My reaction probably reflects the sentiment of the video I just watched. Kinda. Yeah, felt kinda awkward. I don't know what else to say. That did that genuinely felt awkward to sit through. I mean, it's still humorous, but like I, I got the awkwardness and waves off of Steven Seagal. Like he could probably still play as a really good tough guy in a movie, but the man, I don't know. Definitely would be an awkward to interview as is been shown and awkward to communicate with. You know, not to say that the man doesn't know some of the things that he talks about. He likely does. But the way that it's presented, yeah, definitely doesn't do him any favors. So I can kind of see why John decided, uh, let's look at the career of Steven Seagal. Maybe we can get a chuckle out of that one. Man should do Christopher Walken next. Or Gary Busey. Both would probably be entertaining. If you were to go talk about celebrities, we know we, we know the ridiculousness that Paltrow has come through, so are there any other crazy celebrities like actually crazy celebrities that uh Oh shit. Hey uh, shit. Talk about Mike Tyson next. You're going to look at the colorful career of a celebrity. Look at Mike Tyson. Man's going to be in Shark Week this year. Go figure. But anywho, I guess that's going to wrap it up for this one. I really don't have anything else to add. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Like if you enjoyed. Comment what your thoughts on Steven Seagal are. Subscribe if you are new. And tap the bell to get notified. Whenever I upload a video so you don't miss any reactions, gameplay, or otherwise from me, 
And also go check out my Discord, as I said earlier. Link is also down in the description. Come join. We'll talk. Post memes, songs, videos, artwork. You can self promote your own stuff and just have some fun. And maybe go check out my Patreon if you can afford to chip in a buck a month. Uh, not required for anything. But still, there if you want to support. This has been Lance Corporal Hawk 30, signing off.